welcome to another video. Today it is going to be my July sewing plans and I, as you can see, have a giant pile of fabric next to me and uh, as ever I have way more plans than I have time to make but uh, as I have, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this enough to you but I'm going on three holidays over September and October. I'm going away to Istria for eight, uh, 10 days in September, which is going to be hot hot. That's the Dalmatian coast of Croatia, which I'm very much looking forward to because I've never been there before. So it's going to be very cool. And then I'm going to Ibiza for a week for one of my friend's weddings and I have to make a dress for that or I have to make an outfit for that because the actual wedding is going to be a white wedding so all the guests have to wear white. The Technically the happy couple got married last year uh, before they had their baby but they it was a very quick civil ceremony so they've invited us out to celebrate with them for three whole days and there's going to be a pool party, the white party and then there's going to be a barbecue on the beach or something like that so uh, whilst it's still going to be hot during the day in Ibiza in October it's not going to be hot hot and it's not going to be hot at night so I need to have some stuff planned for that and then my mum my sister-in-law and my mum's friend and I are all going to our timeshare in Menorca for a week in October as well. I think I get back from Ibiza, I have a day or two at home and then I go to Menorca. So yes, it's amazing. I haven't been on holiday for the last two years. I haven't been abroad and then suddenly I've gone everywhere this year, which is amazing. So I'm very much looking forward to it. But that does mean that I need to have summery clothes because that's one of the things that I have noticed. I have loads and loads of sundresses, so with that I am covered and you will notice that there's only a couple of dresses coming up because I couldn't restrain myself completely. But I don't have strappy tops, I don't have beach cover-ups and I don't have any bikinis that fit me and comfortable, comfortable trousers. I've got quite a few smart trousers now but I don't, like by comfortable I mean still looking smart but I Personally, I quite like the elasticated back. It makes it quite comfortable. And the seven, McCall 7131, actually I really, really liked. And I've already traced the pattern. I've already made them up. I didn't lengthen the crotch enough on those ones. So that's the alteration I'm gonna to make to those. But there will be a few variations of those being made. And they come with every length from short shorts to Bermuda shorts to culottes to full length trousers. So the plan is, I have a giant pile of patterns, I have a giant pile of fabrics, I've kind of pulled out everything that's tropical and leafy themed, although this one, not, not tropical but floral themed and has just arrived today. I am going to go through this lot, show you what I'm doing, fingers crossed I can get most of this done in July, but I have until the 8th of September to get my holiday wardrobe sorted. So. Let's let's jump into it, shall we? So this is a rayon that I got from Lamazia Fabrics, and I will link it down below for you. It is black. It has flowers all over it, and it also has a gold kind of a. It is gold, but it's kind of not a bright gold. It's an old gold pinstripe running all the way through it. And this is going to be this month's sew along fabric. So the Patreon peeps voted for the Vogue 9319, which again, I will put up here for you. And they would like to see that as this month's sew along. So I absolutely love these trousers. I think the waistband on those is really flattering with the flat and the V and then the flare coming from there. I am going to make them so that they sit on my natural waist, which is looking like on the drawings that that's what it's meant to do. But we will see when they, if they have a waistline and things drawn in there. If they don't, I will raise that up. I will be checking the crotch depth to make sure that the crotch is deep enough for me because I have a very, very long torso in comparison to the rest of my body. So I need to make sure that I count for that. So I'm going to be making view D and view A of this pattern. So the short sleeved, fluttery sleeved shirt, because as you can see, I have a thing for flutter sleeves and the long trousers. If I have enough time, there may be a pair of shorts made out of this one as well but yes it's going to be this fabric which is really really beautiful still it literally fresh out of the postage bag today i need to wash this and then yeah but i'm really really 
but I didn't buy it last time they had it in stock and I'm very glad that I treated myself because you know I I never buy fabric ever but yeah this is really really pretty and nice and floaty which is one of the things that it recommends that you make this pattern out of so crepe rayon chali lightweight jersey chambray and it's unsuitable for obvious diagonals so there you go so um floral trouser suit that's gonna look well 70s isn't it quite quite on board with that yeah it's good could be good right that's going in the washing pile so next up is this leaf print quilting cotton that mum got for me from a d-stash in Saudi Arabia I think I have enough of this no I know I have enough of this I want to make the Nina Lee Hue dress and I'm going to make version two I am probably with this going to leave off the little cap sleevey bits because this is a quilting cotton as I mentioned so it doesn't have a lot of drape and I think they might just stick out a little bit there so it's going to be the strappy strappy dress version and I want this is on my hashtag 2018 make nine and I would like to have a couple of these for my holiday made up but I need to check the fit and stuff like that first so I'm thinking wearable muslin with this fabric because whilst I like it and it's very much my style because you know leaves uh it's also not super super precious so if it all goes tits up then not the end of the world and it's going to be a good one to check fit for so I'm going to do a Nina Lee Q dress with this so my May sew along was the Till the Sun Goes Down beach pyjamas and I wear the aqua crazy florals I think that's what that fabric's called all the time I love it it's really really comfortable it looks put together and stylish but it is very very comfortable to wear especially in this hot weather and I would like to make a couple more of those and I'm going to make them in these cottons that I got from Indian Royal Treasures and this one is a tropical jungle print with parrots all over it no parrots on that was parrot on that bit but there we go parrot yes parrot so I'm going to make a couple of those beach pajamas one with this fabric and then this is another cotton that I got from Indian Royal Treasures so blue yellow abstracty floral very painterly looking so yes they are going to be super useful and super comfortable to be wearing in hot weather beach cover-ups by the pool cover-ups just throw it on and be comfortable cover-ups have I said cover-ups enough times um, this one I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with navy bias binding and then this one I think hot pink don't you hot pink bias binding for this one definitely bring out the flowers yes yes so that's what those two are gonna be so I, I did literally go through my pattern stash and pick out a whole bunch of patterns that I wanted to make and then I went through my fabrics and I picked out a whole bunch of fabrics that I really wanted to make up and there's actually not a lot of correlation between the two <laughs> but uh, th yeah I want to get all these I want to get all these made and I think it's going to look really cool and we'll work together so yes anyway this is the viscose rayon fabric no it's not this is the viscose linen fabric that I got from sew over it and I haven't washed this as yet because I was going to do it as a dry clean only dress but then I read on Instagram the Sandra Betzina method of treating linen so you want to iron when you get it you want to iron the linen with the hottest iron no steam possible you then want to put it through a hot wash and a hot tumble dry and then iron it again before you uh, fold it up or start making with it and that way it's supposed to do something like this is supposed to do something about it not creasing quite as much that's that's the theory I'm gonna test it and see how it goes but this is a really pretty fabric it is going to be a very v easy vogue button up dress and I can't I haven't got it here and I can't remember the number of it but I will have put a picture here for you to have a look at so yes I am going to do the longer version I have five meters of this fabric 
so I think it's going to look really 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 lovely and linen is something that's very nice to wear in the heat I have been told so I shall be doing that because mm, so pretty so pretty even with the extra Tiana fluff that it has all over it but yes that one so I have some black uh, cotton lycra stretch jersey fabric here and I think I am probably going to try and make now I kind of want to make the simplicity bodysuit again but I want to make it strapless and yeah I want to make it strapless and with the plunge with the thingy up I was thinking maybe I could make it into a swimsuit so not actually do the poppers at the crotch area just you know make that normal and then make it into a swimsuit so I, I've been toying around with that idea but I need some more t-shirts I uh, need some more vests what that's what I really need yeah so this is going to be some it's either going to be a start of a swimsuit bodysuit or it's going to be a vest but uh, I need some more basic tops in my life because I do not have enough at all Ugh. Yeah, but basically all of these fabrics have leaves on them. I mean, it's <laughs> it's not it's not going to come as any surprise to you, any of you. So this is a loop back French terry from a company that Alex from Gingerhead and Co recommended to me, and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will have linked it down below in the description box. Now I am going to make some Carolyn pajama PJ bottoms with this, and I've think I'm going to add elastic to the cuff and then I'm either going to make a jumper or a zip up hoodie for the top of this and I kind of like the idea of it having a hood but I'm not 100% sold on that idea but I want to make this because sitting on a plane you need to be comfortable and I just like the idea of you know looking like a walking jungle for the entirety of my holiday apparently <laughs> so yes this is going to be um slouchy comfy uh, plain 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 clothes yes you know aeroplane clothes because you know that's a thing right yeah but, i mean i mean when i the the the, the few times that i have flown, flown business class or first class they do come round and if it's a night flight they give you pajamas you get pajamas um so it's hilarious we were in we were in the first class cabin on ba and there's 12 of us in there because it's tiny and there's all these smart people and then suddenly they give you pajamas and you everyone goes to the, the toilet and they all come back and they all look like um yes yeah, so they they're all wearing the same leisure wear. It's hilarious, and but they were very comfortable to sleep in. I still I don't have my BA ones anymore because I think I I use those to death. But yeah, you um you do, you do wear something to get onto long flights, and then you kind of change if you're on a long long flight, and then you wear some you know get changed back into your normal clothes. So airplane clothes is actually a thing, and I'm going to make my own, and they're going to be super comfortable, and I'm going to look like a mental person, but I don't care. So yes. PJs, well, joggy, a jogging set, leisure wear set out of this. So this is another plain black. It is the jersey from Minerva Crafts. It's 3.99 a meter. It's the nicest, nicest stuff. All of the t-shirts that I've made, I've made out of this. Uh, when I checked the other day, they had some more black in, so I immediately jumped on that and ordered myself two more meters. I am probably going to make myself a cow neck t-shirt out of this because at the moment I have a v-neck t-shirt out of this and it's amazing and I love it and it's super super soft so I will link this down below Minerva Crafts it's kind of weird they go through that it says it's non restockable but then every now and again a color comes back into restock so I don't know maybe they found some in the warehouse somewhere that like had been misplaced or something like that but so there are a few colours of it left. It is super, super soft. It's lovely to wear. Highly recommend this stuff. Um, but it's going to be a cow neck t-shirt for me and a short sleeve one this time. Yes. Now, so this is really funny. This is all the way from Australia. The lovely Claire bought this back for me from Australia. I ordered it from Spotlight and 
then I uh, had it sent to Claire and she sent it and she bought it smuggled it over for me in her suitcase and it's again it's going to come as no surprise to any of you because of the print it is beautiful and when I showed this to you guys in one of the vlogs you said it's amazing that I could make crappy spotlight fabric look desirable and I think that's really funny because uh actually Claire made a comment she uh she said something along the lines of oh it's amazing we all think that the UK has the most amazing selection of fabrics but really it's very much the same sort of stuff that you guys have in spotlight over there it's just one of those things that because it's not readily available it looks all shiny and exciting so uh yeah but this I've got five meters of this it's super lightweight it is polyester I have it didn't that's the one thing about spotlight it didn't tell me what the composition was or you know it just said drapey and lightweight but I'm going to make and again I haven't got the pattern here I'm gonna make this McCall's wrap dress with it I particularly want to make the one with the frill around the top because I like the frills and it's going to be the longer version of it and I have as I say a five meters of this so that is what that one's going to be Okay, I've shown you guys this pattern before. It's the Simplicity 4192. Now, I think it's New Look, and Susie very kindly sent this to me. New Look have done a very similar pattern, but it just has the uh, little top and the trousers. It doesn't come with the shorts, the bikini top, or the vest in it. But I, I love the idea of making an entire kind of set of this sort of stuff for a holiday because it's, it would all be very interchangeable. So, I have this Lady McElroy foliage canopy lawn, which I was going to turn into Carolyn pyjamas, but I've changed my mind on that because this is just too nice to just be pyjamas, if that makes sense. I'm not ruling out the possibility of buying more and making pyjamas out of it, but yeah. So, what I would like to do is make the um, wrap around trousers with this. I have a feeling that I'm going to want to round off, uh, square off the bottom rather than have it rounded but I'm not going to hold myself to that because I may change my mind. Uh, but I am, rather than jump straight into that simplicity pattern, I am going to make a muslin out of some plain cotton that I have on hand rather than jump straight in with this just in case I, you know, do get the crotch depth too too low or something something isn't quite right and I don't want to go straight for my super fancy fabric which is expensive there's 75 pounds of fabric here so yeah I don't want to ruin it so definitely going to make a muslin of these first but the idea is I think that the little the uh, wrap trousers I like the idea of the little bikini top, not gonna lie. That, you know, possibly could happen. And the the little jackety cover up thing, I think that would look really cool in this and I think it would work quite well interchangeably with other things. But as I say, I'm gonna make a, mus a wearable muslins of the, the whole lot first out of something that's a bit less precious uh, with the idea of working up to these being that. Now if those trousers don't particularly work I have, what have I got up here? I've got a couple of things. So I have the Megan Nielsen flint trousers and it does say that you can use lighter wave fabrics. Fa it does, it says fabrics such as denim, twill, poplin, broadcloth, linen, linen blends, suiting, gabardine, peak, wool blends will result in a more structured garment and then lighter weight fabrics such as cottons, crepes, tensile, rayon, silks, etc., will result in looser, flowier garments. So I really like the version with version one, which rather than the little tie, it has buttons. And I would do what I have seen lots of people do, and I would mirror that the buttons on the other side because at the as it stands there's only the buttons there that make it functional to get on and off. But I'd mirror them on the other side so that it looked balanced but I could definitely see these in that fabric I think that would look really really cool so this this is going to get turned into some kind of holiday outfit and then your eyes don't deceive you I have it on crepe as well and can you see the difference so this has been washed once this has been washed once and this 
I mean, it's it's the it's the nature of of printing onto. Um, this is obviously 100% cotton lawn. This is polyester. The nature of printing onto man-made fibres as opposed to natural fibres. Natural fibres do fade, so not the end of the world. Don't mind that. But I do particularly love this print, so I uh, also bought it on <laughs> crepe because this is me we're talking about so and it's not the first time I've done that and I and I have quite the Cobra corsage on crepe and cotton as well and scuba although I, I gave small girl type creature the scuba outfit that resulted in that now with this one I kind of I'm not sure what I want to do I'm thinking some of the 7131 trousers I think I think that's what I'm thinking with that one and then Possibly the 7784 top, particularly like D, although I think I would add, I think I would, oh D, sorry, D is here, um, it's here on the back. So I think I would add to a, a tie detail to the front, possibly, or I'm not 100% sure yet, but I like the idea of coordinating set with the Lady McElroy fo foliage canopy crepe. I think that would look really, really cool. So, that one. This is completely Laura from Cotton Reel Studios Vault. That's where I got this fabric from. It is a satin and it is, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. When she showed it on her Instagram feed, it was just like, mm, yeah, I need that. And she'd put it with the Tilly and the Buttons Fifi pajama set, which was just like, Oh, light bulb moment. So yes, what I'm planning is so it's all it's all unfolding and unraveling. Ah, making a mess. So what I'm planning is the Carolyn pajamas long trousers, and I have no shame and probably would wear those out in public on holiday, and in the UK. So, yeah, I just wear those in public. Battery died. <sighs> And then I'm going to make a camisole top with this as well. And I have the Ogden cami, the Itch to Stitch crystal cami, and the Tasuti camisole tops to choose from. So I'm going to make a little strappy top to technically wear as PJs as well, or or just yeah. So anyway, little camisole top, and then. So I have them McCall's 7790 and I'm thinking that I really like C as a robe, although I do, I like the big sleeves on this, but I'm thinking some kind of lightweight summer covery up nonsense with this and as a set. Now I have five meters of this fabric. This would take, view C needs 2.6 meters. I'm imagining I can get the camisole top out of quite a little bit of fabric and then I think the PJ bottoms take two and a half. So I may need to get some more of this, but it wasn't expensive. This was six pounds a meter, I think. Yeah, six pounds a meter. I bought five and it was 30 quid. So I could get myself a little bit more of this if Laura, if Laura still has some left and you guys haven't bought all of it, which is quite possible because that does happen. Um, I fall in love with fabrics and then think about them and then yeah but yes this is going to turn into a pajama set of some shape form or description because I'm going to be have to sharing sharing rooms with people when I go on these holidays so yes my usual sleeping arrangements would not be decent so yes that is the mahoosive pile of fabrics that I have next to me now I have more patterns here than I have fabrics and I have the, the, lots of these are open to change. For example, I have the Josie play suit and jumpsuit, which was a free sewing pattern from Craft Network sewing patterns. I'm assuming I got this with a magazine. It doesn't say which magazine I got it from, but yes. So I actually really, really like this. I can't imagine making the blue version with the cuffed uh, ankles. I can't imagine making that one but I can see myself making every single other 
iteration that there is here so maybe instead of two sets of peach beach pajamas one of them could end up being one of these the little strappy one this one without the cuffing so like the nice wide legs that's very me uh, button up down the front you can either put put elastic into the waist or you can just have, leave it loose and have a tie or a belt so that is a possibility for, for one of these I also have and again Susie sent these to me the McCall 7783 and the 7786 and I really want to make the D of the trousers with the ruffles and I did really think about that for the foliage canopy crepe however I again need to make these in a fabric that I am less precious about and I do have one that I got from the textile center that I have in mind for that but it was pink so I didn't want to include it in with all the green so yes and then I want to make a matching top definitely the UC I think that's really really cute the reason that this looks quite stiff is because they've top stitched it in quarter inch increments uh, which I don't think I would actually do I think I'd want my ruffles are slightly floatier than that but there's this one then I have dug out the Simplicity 8609 pattern for the t-shirt view B I really like that it has a little crisscross in the front I think that's really pretty sleeveless which is what I want for this time of year I all my t-shirts have sleeves on them and I definitely want some vests uh, rather than actual sleeved t-shirts. The skirt on this is really pretty as well but um, I particularly dug this one out for the top. I also got out the Megan Nielsen Tanya Clots. I have made these before and I didn't wear them because they were too short for me to wear without anything covering my legs because I didn't like my legs so much but she has since redrafted it and done it with a couple of lo longer versions so version two I think I'd need to measure how long it is but yeah or the this length that she has on the model here that again would work really well for the foliage canopy fabric that I have in there I also have a couple of crepes I have a khaki colored crepe and a bottle green colored crepe down in the main house I haven't bought those up because they're plain fabrics which is you know a bit boring but uh, yeah there's those so I could possibly make something uh, from the Tanner clots or something Tanya clots with something like that I have also bought up the simplicity 68648 again Susie sent me this from America I particularly like the D uh, with the little fluttery sleeves and again this would make an awesome beach cover-up I don't think it's right for any of the fabrics I have in here but I do have some stuff in my stash that would work for this I've then got two bikini patterns out from my stash so the McCall's 7787 and I actually have ordered some of the fold over elastic to make a couple of sets of this one and then there's a few from the McCall's 5400 that I particularly like as well I think my favorite is actually E but I would not want the, the it to come all the way down I'd want it to be shorter so I'd want it to be about there so I would have to work out a way of cropping that but I think I can do that hopefully I can do that uh, so there's that one and yeah I like the uh, a and G the little roughly set on in green there as well I think that's really cute again I don't have I, I mean I have the fabrics because I'm planning on using all the scraps that I've got left over from my scubas to attempt some of these so that is going to be happening soon I think hopefully it's going to be it's going to be an in interesting learning curve and what else have I got here I've got the McCall's 7577 play seat I got this out because I really liked the shorts with the, the the ruffles up the side but as I've just said I'm not overly confident about my legs and um because they don't look like those I mean, if I could have legs like that that'd be great but I really like this jumpsuit overall and view D is very nice and I like the idea there's um a yoke on the back that you could use you can use lace on instead of uh, solid fabric so you know that's a possibility then the simplicity 8654 again shirt shorts and a little shirt 
tie front shirt so again lots and lots and lots of options there for different things that i can do with all of these lovely lovely fabrics but you see i think you can see a theme developing i want to make a holiday wardrobe i want to make stuff that's going to kind of work all together and i think i I'm, I've, I've been packing like that a lot and i think it's sensible so that you pack with sort of three or four colors so all of the pieces are interchangeable and that way you end up with more outfits which at the end of the day is what you need because you only have a certain amount of luggage allowance don't you and you can't take all of your clothes with you although i do like to try so yes that's that's what i'm planning for july so again overly ambitious it's going to be interesting to see how much of this i get done but i'm hopeful i'm hopeful i'm also going to try something very uh, different for me this this month and um, because usually what i will do is i'll spend a couple of days tracing out all the patterns then i'll spend a couple of days cutting everything out and then i'll spend the rest of the time sewing and i like that system but it does get quite repetitive so i think what i'm going to try and do is actually work garment by garment so trace cutouts and sew one particular thing and then start the process again and i'm just going to try that experiment and see which one i prefer because um i think one of the things when i do it batch batching is that i get a bit like oh i don't want to do that anymore i just want to slow something so yeah i'm going to try going to try it in garment by garment this time and see how that works because you know don't know until you try do you so if you have any suggestions for the fabrics or the patterns that i've shown you that differ from what i've said then let me know in the comments down below i would love to have your guys input i always think it's really interesting to hear what you guys think and you're like oh no don't do that try this or if you thought about that and you come up with some genius ideas so yes in the comments down below let me know what you think anyway i think that's enough waffle it's going to be like a 30 minute long video looking at the time <laughs> Oh dear. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!